Um, Pakistan is buying the leftover American weapons from the Afghanistan Taliban government to keep these weapons away from the TTP, which is the Pakistani side of the Taliban. Um, for those who they, don't know, they actually no, it's just the Islamist in Pakistan. I think the, pa oh, okay. the Taliban is different. Yeah, the Taliban is different. Yeah. I, so I, there is an is alphabet soup of militant groups in Pakistan. I get the letters confused. <laughs> right, just from just many. consider them. Just just think of Pakistan as the there's three powers in pa Pakistan: the army, the civilian government, and the TTP, which is the Islamists. Right, go on. Well, there's the TTP, the TLP, Lashkar-e Taiba, like so many more oh yeah sorry no actually you're actually you're right i was confusing the ttp with the tl hell yeah you are correct i was wrong no this is the ttp you're right that is the taliban i was thinking of the tlp no okay i was wrong susanna is correct that's sure <laughs> good job sis so no this is the taliban this is the uh this is the pakistani taliban okay yeah never mind continue you're i'm correct. feeling very i'm feeling very good about myself right now <laughs> okay so you, sh you, sh again. you should yeah. <laughs> uh pakistan is buying american weapons from the afghani taliban to keep them away from the pakistani taliban are mm. they really afraid of what the ttp and that big of a threat to pakistan so basically you're asking is are they afraid of the uh pakistani taliban um I mean, I'm, the, 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 depends on what you mean by afraid. Like, are you, I mean, obviously they're a nuance, but I, I, I mean, because if we say yes, they're afraid, I don't want to suggest that they think like the TTP is going to be able, ever able to topple the army. Like the t army, the army and the ISI in Pakistan are such a powerful force that nothing seems to be able to challenge it, right? As much as, I mean, the TTP is nothing compared to the TLP and the TLP is nothing compared to this force of the army in Pakistan. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's a fair, fair ranking. Would you say that's a fair ranking? Like TLP is a lot more powerful than the TP, TTP, but the army can, if the army wants to crush any of these Islamic groups in Pakistan, I mean, right now it doesn't, right now it uses them. Uh, as its proxies in Afghanistan and in Pakistan against the civilian government, and also in India, right? We know the the ISI using using these groups as terrorist groups in India, right? So, in the most um, devious ways. In the most devious ways, yes. But if if any of these groups turns on the army itself, they will be able to crush it. I, as if I don't know how things are going to be like in ten years or twenty years. Right now, though, they're they're not a uh, match for the army. However, even if they're not a match, it doesn't mean that they're not a nuance. If they, you know, I mean, they could cause headaches for them. They don't want them, even though if they want to use them here and there. I mean, they don't use the Taliban in Pakistan. They use the Taliban in Afghanistan, but still, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, maybe the TTP is more of a nuance for the army in Pakistan than. These other you mean groups. nuisance, but nuisance, yeah. What did I say? Nuance, nuance, I said nuance. yeah. Nu nuisance, yes. Yeah, sorry, it is a nuanced um, issue, though. <laughs> so, <no. laughs> thanks for thanks for attempting to say that. <laughs> I got you, I got your back. <laughs> you get you got my back. Um, no, but yeah, but I don't, I think like I don't think they're a match, but but still a hassle, right? So, you know, for example. You know, for if we say like the United States is afraid of these radical groups in I don't know Syria are getting more power, right? They could be afraid of them, but that doesn't mean they're a match for the U.S. army, right? So I just want to say like, yes, they might be concerned about them becoming more influential and having weapons that the army doesn't want them to have, but obviously the power balance is way in favor of the army. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean. Um... Pakistan's intelligence agency needs to keep a tight leash on its proxy right. groups, essentially. What you were saying about yeah. ranking them, I think, I mean, the be easy to say that um, the TLP has great, their, their power is in mass mobilization. How big of a proxy is the TTP for the uh, Pakistan army? Because I think like... Currently, I don't know. 
No, because I know that the TLP is a proxy for uh, it's a proxy against this. I mean, it's used by the army against the civilian government. I know that the Taliban in Afghanistan is used by the by the ISI in Pakistan, but the TT Lashkar Taiba is used against India. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. But is the TTP just like just a nuisance for? um the taliban uh, from for the army like have they had any collaboration i mean historically they had historically mm-hmm. they had collaborated like when it came to the foundation of pocket i mean the taliban and the isi exchange members the ideology is very much they are very influenced by the taliban ideology like historically i know they were exchanging both members and ideology like uh, you know a lot um, ISI or ISIS? ISI, okay, the Taliban's intelligence agency. No, the Taliban's like Taliban. Uh, sorry, the Pakistan's intelligence agency. Pakistan's intelligence agency has been influenced, especially the r- lower-ranking members of the um, Pakistan's army has been influenced a lot by Taliban ideology. They are very much sympathetic to them, you know, and that makes it very difficult for the pakistan's army to even if they want to be anti-taliban they might have a huge difficulty with their own members right their own their own member lower rank members might turn on the higher ranking uh, pakistan's army members if they go too hard on the taliban because they sympathize with them so that's a danger that they also have to deal with yeah it's a huge problem that they'll use the skill and network that they um learned and were brought into in their intelligence work to then go rogue hmm. and use all that information and networking to non uh approved actions i mean even the approved yeah. actions are horrible often see pakistan got a lot of funds from united states and saudi arabia to pick the proper mujahideen uh, in the Pashtun area in, in afghanistan right uh to you know, to fight the Soviets, but eventually the Mujahideen turned on each other and the Taliban came victorious among all the Mujahideen. But the problem is that Pakistan funding, uh, Pakistan funding that uh, choosing the Taliban as the best Mujahideen um, had a negative, um, was kind of destabilizing for Pakistan as well because the Pashtun region that these, these are Pashtun supremacist, like it wasn't just Wahhabism that was coming out of Saudi mm-hmm. Arabia that was influencing them. It was also Pashtun tribalism that the Taliban was very interested in, right? So it was a mix of Wahhabism and Pashtun tribalism. But the effect of that was that um, this could, this was um, working. You know, if you care about Pakistan's border integrity of uh, Pakistan's border, um, the problem is that the Pashtun region crosses the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan. And if you if you keep promoting, like some people were rightfully concerned that a Pashtun movement might go across Afghan and Pakistan border and challenge the integrity of Pakistan's border, right? But so some people within Pakistan, some, some people within Pakistan were like, we're concerned about this. Um, but again, the problem is that within the Pakistan's army, it seems to be some people were more loyal to the Taliban and what they stand for more than saving Pakistan itself, <laughs> like more than fighting for Pakistan itself. Like it became such a powerful force that you couldn't challenge it anymore. Like, you know, you don't know if you're, if you're in ISI, you don't really know, like, are you loyal to Pakistan or are you loyal to this ideology like Islamic? Uh, def, de, de, and there is a, a lot of competing Islamic ideologies, right? But yeah, I would say that a lot of people in Pakistan's army have loyalties, have ideological loyalties that goes beyond what's best for Pakistan. Does that make That's sense? an easy assertion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.